In this screencast, we'll use enthalpy cycles to look at whether the unknown compound magnesium 1 chloride is stable with respect to the elements, and if it is, explore other reasons why it doesn't exist. To see whether magnesium 1 chloride is stable with respect to the elements, you need to construct a Born Harbor cycle, which will allow you to calculate its enthalpy of formation. In a Born Harbor cycle, you start with the elements in their standard states. Since magnesium 1 chloride will be an ionic compound, you can break the reaction down into five steps, which are represented by the enthalpy of atomization of magnesium, the first ionization enthalpy for magnesium, the enthalpy of atomization for chlorine, the first electron gain enthalpy for chlorine, and minus the lattice enthalpy for magnesium 1 chloride. The values of the first four of these enthalpy changes can be easily looked up. The enthalpy of atomization of chlorine is half of the bond dissociation enthalpy for Cl2, and it's a common mistake to use the bond dissociation enthalpy here instead of half of it. The fifth value, the magnesium 1 chloride lattice enthalpy, presents a bit of a problem, since if the compound doesn't exist, how can we know its lattice enthalpy? Fortunately, we can estimate it using the Kapustinsky equation. In the Kapustinsky equation, K is a constant with a value of 107,900 picometers kilojoules per mole. Nu is the number of ions in the formula unit, which is 2 in this case. Z plus is the cation charge, which is 1. Z minus is the anion charge, which is 1. R plus is the cationic radius, and R minus is the anionic radius. If you assume that the ionic radius for Mg plus is the same as that for Na plus, which is next to it in the periodic table, the ionic radii are 102 picometers for Mg plus, and 181 picometers for Cl minus. Putting the values into the equation gives a value of the lattice enthalpy of 763 kilojoules per mole. Going back to the Born Harbor cycle, we now have all the values we need in order to calculate the enthalpy of formation for magnesium 1 chloride. The enthalpy of formation is given by the sum of the five enthalpy terms remembering that we need to use the minus of the lattice enthalpy. Putting the values in gives an answer of minus 106 kilojoules per mole. In other words, the calculation suggests that magnesium 1 chloride is stable with respect to the elements. Since we know that this compound doesn't exist, there must be another reason why it's unstable. Another possibility is that it's unstable with respect to disproportionation. This is decomposition to a higher and a lower oxidation state, in this case magnesium 2 chloride and magnesium. To assess this, we need to construct a second enthalpy cycle, with two equivalents of magnesium 1 chloride going to one equivalent each of magnesium 2 chloride and magnesium metal. In this enthalpy cycle, we can imagine decomposing two equivalents of magnesium 1 chloride into the gaseous ions, which is equal to twice the lattice enthalpy, Converting two magnesium 1 ions into a magnesium 2 ion and a neutral magnesium atom. Then combining the ions to form magnesium 2 chloride. We'll also need to convert the gaseous magnesium atom into solid magnesium. To use this enthalpy cycle to calculate the enthalpy change of disproportionation, we need to know the second enthalpy of ionization for magnesium, which we can look up, and the lattice enthalpy for magnesium 2 chloride which we can calculate using the Kapustinsky equation in a similar way to what we did with magnesium 1 chloride. In this case, there are three ions in the formula unit, so nu is 3. The charge on the cation is 2, and the charge on the anion is 1. The ionic radius for Mg2 plus is 72 picometers. Putting these values into the formula gives a value of 2560 kilojoules per mole. Going back to the enthalpy cycle, we now have all of the terms we need. Putting the numbers into an expression for the enthalpy change of disproportionation gives us a value of minus 468 kilojoules per mole. This means that the enthalpy change of disproportionation is strongly exothermic and that magnesium 1 chloride is unstable with respect to decomposition via disproportionation. If it ever did form, it would decompose into magnesium and magnesium 2 chloride.